This is another quick video of mind test on the Raspberry Pi 3. You can see we've got creative mode, disable, we've enabled damage. If you look at the settings, all the settings are ticked. So fancy tree, smooth lighting, 3D clouds, opaque water, preload item visuals, yeah, the whole lot of them are all enabled. The UI is set to 1x. And if I go into configure the user, you can see I have mobs enabled as well, which is kind of cool. So let's go into it. Uh, this isn't running full screen because I can't get my camera back far enough while it's running uh, a decent resolution. So this is with all features enabled. A mind test, it's using the experimental OpenGL. I mentioned before that at some point, I think it's, I think the Pi is overheating a little bit. Um, which is why I think I'm getting the blanking every so often. But you can see there is little creatures running around. I might ever figure out how to hit them hard enough. I capture one. So there we go. Okay, we're going to nighttime, which again, you see it's getting darker. But this is on a Raspberry Pi 3 with full detail enabled. It's running what well, I would describe as very smoothly. If I go into my inventory, <laughs> my sheep, you can see I have various things that I've made. There's the blanking that I mentioned. There's that I escape. Temporarily dismisses it. As I said, I do think it's a power thing. Um, if I go I again for inventory, I've made torches, I've made various things. I have the crafting table, so you know, as an example. There's my sticks, so I can get more sticks. So again, there's full crafting available in it. Um, I've got axes, doors, these are all things I've either picked up or made. And then again, it's night time, which as we know is a risky time. Not sure if you can see, because the light is quite low actually. Um, so again, I'll do what you can in my test, which is F10, forward slash, Time six one two three, which makes it daylight. Back to the morning. So yeah, mind test running on the Raspberry Pi three. Other than the blanking, which as I said, I think is I, I, I do think is a OpenGL driver thing based on heat. So the moment I stop the screen doing much, it calms down a lot. I think there's definitely real potential that this will be fully working. Uh, you might be investing in a little fan to see if that makes a bit of a difference. Oh yeah, Dickon Wells digging away quite happily. Let's see if I can find any of the zombies that were lying around here before. So the thing with my test is you can add different uh, mobs and mods to add different functions and capabilities. I've only added one, but there are more in there. So you can fully customize it and make it the way you wish. Oh, and if you go into creative mode, you can just run around the place and you have everything and you can make everything. Um, my <laughs> kids have already found that if you go into creative mode and fill up your inventory with everything that you want, you can then go back into survival mode and have it all, all available to you. So let's see if you can see there's damage on the screen. Let's see if I fall off a height. Okay, maybe not into water, but I think I get there is damage if you uh, fall from a height. So yeah, so it's all working. Um, yeah, he's looking forward to some more work being done on the experimental OpenGL drivers because I think they'll make a huge difference to the final performance. So actually, just before finishing, I'm going to disable all of the extra features and let's see if it makes any difference to the um, performance. That weird sound you're hearing is me blowing on the, uh, the heatsink. If I go back into settings and I disable all of these crazy features, it actually looks more like the version of 
Minecraft on the Raspberry Pi when I do it this way. If I go back in, it's fine. Yeah, it's all working still. Um, I have set the GPU memory to 256 meg. I don't know if it needs that much, but I have set it to that. So that's one thing. But it doesn't look like... It feels a little bit faster. But it looks like there's no real need to compromise on the detail. If um, you're playing Mind Test on a Raspberry Pi 3. Um, yeah, it says as long as the OpenGL drivers. And let's keep seeing where it goes to. So you can see underwater the um, my oxygen levels are shown on the right hand side of the bottom. Then we're out of it. I think I shut it down by pressing a combination of keys and I couldn't see what was going on. But yes, you can see it's Raspberry Pi.